to go to NBC Justice correspondent Pete Williams, who is in our Washington bureau. Uh, Pete, we've been talking about George Papadopoulos, talking about this separate uh, case, if you will. Well, Robert Driscoll, who's been joining me on set, says this seems to him like it's an indication of potentially a cooperative witness. Can we go that far yet? Well, uh, sure, because he's agreed to plead guilty. We don't know in return for what here yet. But uh, a couple of interesting things. First of all, the, the um, court documents indicate that he was actually arrested on July 27th. Papadopoulos uh, lived uh, for uh, most of his, the time on the, in question here in London. And it says on July 27th, he was arrested when he arrived at Dulles Airport. And after his arrest, he has met with the government several times to provide information and answer questions. So I think that's a pretty clear indication that he is cooperating with uh, Robert Mueller's investigators. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, uh, it says that he was, the, the basis of this plea agreement and the, and the charge here is that the FBI questioned him twice, once in January of 2017, again in February of 2017, and this is the substance of the charge, that both times he falsely said that he was talking to Russians who were interested in meeting with President Trump, who thought they had information about Hillary Clinton to share, and that at the, he told the FBI at the time he was, uh, in essence, trying to act as an intermediary, that he was not part of the Trump campaign when the indictment says, in fact, he was uh, on the foreign policy team for the Trump campaign. So uh, a second point I would make here is that there is nothing in these charges that directly says that he helped the Russians try to interfere in the election, which again is the, is the essence of what Robert Mueller is trying to investigate. But it does say that he attended a national security meeting, Papadopoulos that is, in March, uh, March 31st of last year with Trump and other foreign policy advisors for the campaign yeah. and said that he had connections, Papadopoulos did, that could help arrange a meeting between Trump and Putin. But there's nothing here in the charges that say he wanted to set this up so that the Russians could interfere with the election. But it is a it is a contact, but the essence of the charges is false statements to the FBI. Uh, Pete Williams there in our Washington Bureau. Pete, thank you. And hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.